Hello, everybody, and welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to our match reaction show. Tell you what, of all the days, to not be able to do a match reaction show, it had to be tonight, didn't it? Didn't it? I mean, uh, I mean, I watched the game, but unfortunately, because it went to extra time, I had another event to run, so I couldn't do the reaction show right away. And so uh, it's a delayed reaction, but I hope you still enjoy the show. And congratulations to all Real Madrid fans. I mean, it's finished uh, all over the place, but uh, it's finished uh, Manchester City, uh, well, Real Madrid 3. Manchester City won on aggregate. Uh, it's finished six five to Real Madrid. I mean, who saw that coming? I did not. I did not. And I tell you what, um, ah, there's so much to get into. So much of what this would mean for both teams. But I, I mean, we can't talk about the game. One nil up City. They dominated. I think. I think. Um, barring probably opening ten minutes of uh, of the of the second half, I thought Manchester City were comfortably the better team until perhaps the ninetieth minute of this of this time. In one eighty minutes. And they probably dominated about uh, 130, 140 minutes. The rest of the time, probably 10 minutes Real Madrid. And then it's probably been more even. So I think but Real Madrid just hung in there, hung in there, hung in there. And we said this. We said this at the end of the first. I said, will City rule those missed chances that they didn't put away? Could they have had, you know, six, three, you know, seven? They could have probably had six, seven goals uh, in the first leg. They probably should not even have considered three. Maybe, you know, one or two at most. But uh, they just, I mean, sit, hang in there. And then do you think 5-3, Riyad, Riyad Mahrez scores that uh, goal, uh, you know, 5-3 up on aggregate. There's 20 minutes left. You're thinking, ah, it's all over now, isn't it? Surely Madrid can't come back. Surely City have the defensive capabilities to see this one out. And then Jack Willis gets two good chances. So take just one, just one, he has to take it. And he can't, and he can't do it. And he can't do it. And he had to still 5-3. And then we go to the 90th minute and then uh, Vinicius, uh, you know, it, it was actually you know, it was it was, uh, it was a hopeful ball from Benzema. Uh, it was a hopeful ball to Benzema. Benzema does the best that he can with it, which he just pushes pushes it back. And Rodrigo scores, I think five four. But you think it's too little, too late. I mean, even the BT sport, even the commentators are like, is it too little, too late? Is it too late, too late? And then a minute later, oh my God, scenes. Rodrigo scores again, um, and again. I mean, you know, it was just again, it's just hope. It's just a cross in the box. The second one was not a hopeful cross, but it was a good cross. But it just crosses in the box, and you think City should deal with that, and they don't, and they don't, and it's two one, and momentum is all with Real Madrid. But you know what? Um, it doesn't mean anything if City can hold out, take it to penalties, win it, perhaps. But then that happens. Ruben Diaz, a moment of panic. There's desperation because City are not used to this. They're not used to being under the cost. They're not. They weren't under under the cost at all for 180 minutes almost. Um, and so suddenly they find themselves in extra time in a game that they should have seen. Uh, that they should have seen off a long, long time ago. They find themselves in extra time and then Real Madrid do what Real Madrid do. They complete the comeback uh, like they did against Sevilla, by the way, if you were there for that game, 2-0 no down and they came back in 1-3-2. Uh, this one was a little bit different. They were 5-3 down. They come back and they went 6-5. And what, what was the fuss all about? You know, Benzema strokes, you know, gets a penalty and Benzema strokes it home uh, pretty comfortably. And then Real Madrid, they see it out. And I just thought Madrid was shot. I mean, after that second goal went in, I thought City was shot. City was shot completely. And I think they were just... It was almost an air of inevitability that Real Madrid were going to score and City wouldn't find their way back. There was a chance for Phil Foden as well at 2-1, uh, right in the, in the last two minutes of extra uh, of injury time. In the second half, he's got a chance where he's, you know, everybody goes to sleep and he gets a chance and he puts it over. Uh, you know, just fine margins like that, isn't it? Sometimes football is a cruel, cruel game. It is a cruel game for Manchester City. So close uh, to another final and then yet, you know, Madrid just go through. And uh, you know what? Um, I, I, I think this is an epic choke job because I thought City, I said this, I said this yesterday, I said this is City's best chance of winning the Champions League. They're never going to get a better chance than this because they've had a, you know, not necessarily easy, but they've got some good results. They're 4-3 up against Real Madrid. They're going to come up against a Liverpool team that are not invincible. They're flawed. You know, City can get at them and yet they blew it. They blew it and, uh, you know, they probably blew it. The problem, of course, uh, you know, and, and you know what, yes, and I think that I'll say, you know, a lot of people have been talking about Trent Alexander-Arnold, like that he's a generational talent, that he's a wonderful, you know, he's a good right back. I'll give you that. He's a wonderful right back. But people see he's a generational right back. He might be the best right back of his generation. I'll tell you who's a generational right back. It's Danny Carvajal. I mean, watch his game today. Danny Carvajal was sensational. Uh, you know, he did his defensive job very well. He put in, you know, a couple, you know, the cross that he put in for the goal was fantastic. I think his overall attacking play was brilliant. I mean, and, and this guy, this is a guy who's already won four Champions Leagues, or I think three or four Champions Leagues, by the way, already. I think he's won four, but, you know, maybe not four, maybe three. I think he's won three, but definitely won three Champions Leagues at least. You know, he's a guy who's won Champions Leagues, uh, you know, and he's done it all, really. And, uh, you know, that, 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 there's a generational talent, isn't it? Uh, and, you know, so all of them was not gone in the La Liga that he's won as well. So, you know, all of that. So, I mean, that, that's, that's fullback play, really, which was fantastic. Benzema was brilliant. I thought Benzema had an off day, actually. 
uh, you know, but he's been willing throughout the season. I think he had an off day today in front of goal, you know, got that penalty at the end and he strolled home coolly, by the way. But I thought, of, and I never think if Belmont had lost, I would have said this, that of all the days to pick to have an off day, and today was probably the worst time to have it. But he got an assist and he got a goal. So even on his, on his off day, uh, you know, Benzema's off days are better than most people's good days. So that, there's there's a lesson in lev- levels for you. Um, where, is, where do well, Madrid now? The, the good thing for Madrid is they're not in a, in, in a league title dog fight. They've already secured La Liga. So they can kind of, you know, uh, rest players, but play players, keep themselves match fit, but not necessarily exerted. And they can kind of uh, rest easy. Liverpool, on the other hand, will have the FA Cup final. They've got, you know, the, the title race dog fight that's going to go on as well. And they're going to have to focus on that. So that, that will be an advantage for Madrid, obviously, because their mentality is just unbelievable, isn't it? It's just unbelievable. And that would be something that Liverpool will have to cope with. Liverpool themselves are brilliant mentally. So there's two teams that are very mentally strong and who don't know when they're beaten. So I think that will be a cracker of a game. But uh, I mean, the one advantage that Liverpool will now have is I don't know how Manchester City recovered from this. They've recovered from heartbreaks before. It happened against Tottenham, but they went out cruelly on away goals. And then they somehow... You know, still managed to win the league league that season, so they've done it. They've they've shown that they've got the character and the resilience uh, to do it. But this loss will hurt. This loss will hurt Pep Guardiola a lot because it was in his grasp. So the, the Spurs game was never in his grasp. You know, even the one 0 down from the first leg, they never really, you know, they never really took control of the tie uh, in a way that they did in this game. They were in total control up until the one eighty minutes because the first goal came in the second minute of the first game. Just remember that. So from the minute from almost minute one to minute one eighty. Uh, if you think of it as a tie, they were in control. <laughs> and then suddenly it all falls apart. I mean, uh, you know what? That, that's going to sting. That's going to sting, Guardiola. But I hope he can pull himself up. It's the worst time to be facing a team like Newcastle. I mean, I don't think there's, you know, that's, that's going to be something. But, I mean, they're really going to pick themselves up. They're going to test themselves up. And they've got to go for that league title because they need to win that league title. I think, uh, you know, I, I can't watch Liverpool win the league title. But I tell you what, that's, that's the loss that's going to sting. We're going to try to see if we can get some... Uh, you know, city fans on the show in this coming in the coming week or so, if we can try to get their reactions on it, because it's been incredible. It's an incredible game that we've just witnessed, and um, it's tough. It's a tough loss for City. My my heartiest uh, commiserations to Manchester City fans. I know it's tough to watch that, but you know, got to the final, no mean feat. Uh, definitely, it just came up against a team that that just doesn't know when it's beaten, uh, and that's just what it is. And uh, there were moments in the game, and you, you can always talk about uh, you know turning points. We talk about you know the substitutions for Nandino, Grealish, the chances. A lot of things. I don't, you know, there's no one point to it. I think it was just one team that didn't know when it was beaten. And, you know, they just kept going and going. The, 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 the key thing there is that Madrid never were out of it. They were never out of it. And I think that's the key to a two-leg, to winning a two-leg tie is you've got to make sure that you're never out of it. Um, and they were never out of it as such, um, except probably at 5-3 going 90 minutes. Most teams have thought they were out of it, but they made sure that they still had kept that distance. They made sure that City never really truly won it. And that, that's the key to it. So that, that's all that there is to it for Manchester City fans. There's nothing, uh, you know, they, they give the best way. Sometimes you just have to say it's, it's a free result. It's a free game. It's a cruel game. That's what it is. Um, you know, and uh, that's something for Manchester City now to dust themselves off and, and focus on the league title. And on the league title. So one, one competition left. Got to try and win that. But that's all they can do right now. So that's hopefully they will do that. Um, for Real Madrid, it's uh, congratulations. Wonderful. Well done. Back again in the Champions League final. Uh, of course, I have the preview for that in, in, the, in the weeks to come, but uh, that's, that's the game to look forward to for them. They could do a double. Uh, and they're now, they might probably be, in, in, they might be saying, oh, hopefully they win it because we don't want Liverpool winning the quadruple. They might be the last stand for Liverpool. So we'll see what happens there. But hope you enjoyed this video. And that's a bit of a delayed reaction, but I hope you still enjoy it. Please rem- do remember to like it and share it. Uh, and of course, uh, do remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, follow us on Facebook as well. We appreciate your support. And we want to keep this, uh, you know, going. We want to keep the channel going. My apologies for the delay, but I hope. Um, you know, the family is spits too much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day or night. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. We've got the Europa League coming tomorrow. So we'll be doing a match reaction for that one for sure. So stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye.